we have contrast in our typeface, we can also think about weight distribution. Weight distribution tells you from a visual perspective what side of the cliff seems heavier. And of course, being dependent on contrast, this is related to the thickness of the stroke. Looking at the second glyph, we notice that the vertical strokes are thicker, so that makes our glyph seem heavier in those areas. This gives us vertical weight distribution. Now again, we are going to open the compound path, and as we did in the previous tutorial, to change the weight distribution, as with stress, we rotate the counter, so you can say that stress affects the weight distribution. If we have diagonal stress, we have diagonal weight distribution. If we have horizontal stress, we have horizontal weight distribution. But as an extra compared to stress, we can move the counter up or down to achieve different results. You can just do it by click and dragging with your mouse. or by changing the values on the x, y axis, x is for left and right, while y is for up and down. Or the easiest way that I recommend, by pressing the arrow keys to move up, down, left or right, one point at a time. Or by holding down the shift key and pressing the arrow keys to move the object in increments of 10. If we move the ellipse up, the glyph becomes bottom heavy. If you move the ellipse down, it becomes top heavy. Weight distribution is not very common in typefaces, but between the two, probably the most popular weight distribution is bottom heavy. You will often see it in groovy or funky typefaces. I will rotate the ellipse back to vertical, just so I can illustrate better. And now I'm going to move the ellipse left to make it right heavy, then move it to the right to make it left heavy. You can do this with diagonal weight distribution as well. By moving the counter up, down, left or right. Having left or right weight distribution or even irregular by having different weight distributions on some glyphs is commonly seen in cartoon or comic typefaces, making them look more playful and youthful. Following the same principle as in stress, weight distribution in a digital environment mimics the pressure or rotation of a tool used in an analog environment. As with everything we covered so far, it is not necessary to go to the extreme. Sometimes, just a small amount can bring a big change into your typeface. And in the end, you decide what looks good and what doesn't.